Good morning. Good morning. It's officially my first day in Java. I got to Java yesterday, but today is going to be officially the first day, a uh, first full day on a new island. And I have to tell you that so far, I'm loving it. I hope I'm not going to jinx it. But so far, everyone has been super nice. The accommodation that I'm staying at is amazing, although I'm going to change the accommodation today. I'll tell you about the plan in a second. The bed, my bed was so comfortable. I was just laying down for an hour after I woke up. <laughs> I was just being so lazy because it's so comfy. So I'm just feeling great here. And um, Imani and I, my friend and I, we discovered something funny yesterday, or at least I laughed, or maybe you'll think I'm silly, which fair enough. <laughs> so I was laying in my bed and then my parents called me yesterday and my dad asked me, why aren't you sleeping yet? Like, why are you still awake? And I told him like, dad, it's just 9 p.m. And my dad told me like, no, it's 10. And I told him, no, dad. And I checked on my phone and that's when it hit me. It hit me that I'm in a different time zone. So guys, I saved one hour. So waking up at 7 a.m. today, it was actually 6 a.m. I left my bed at eight. So I actually like left my bed, oh, sorry. So waking up at 7 a.m., I actually woke up at 8, so okay, yeah. So long story short, I traveled in time. <laughs> uh, just so you know, Java and Bali have different time zones, and I knew about it. I mean, I knew that Jakarta has a different time zone, and I was even telling my parents about it, but I kind of just forgot about it. It's not a big deal, but I thought that uh, the whole journey yesterday took five hours, and I was just so proud of myself that it was so quick that I completely smashed it. It was six hours, six hours, guys. But I was being very, very slow and I was filming on the way. So, so if you drive fast, I guess you can probably make it in five hours, but I don't like to rush. I'm already an impatient person, impatient person. So I like to calm myself down a little bit. I don't really have a morning routine or anything like this, but one of the very, very few things that I do in the morning, and it's kind of like my small ritual, is to have my morning coffee and to not rush. And anywhere I travel, I bring my own coffee. Most of the places in Indonesia uh, give you, like when you go for short holidays and you rent a small house or even in guest houses, you have kettles, right? So you can just boil water. And most of the places offer you instant coffee. And I hate instant coffee. So I always bring my ground coffee Arabica with me and it just changes everything. Ever since I started traveling with my coffee, my life, has gone so much better. So small tip to all the coffee lovers, just bring your own coffee. It changes everything. So I'm not gonna rush. Imani is taking a shower. I took a shower in the evening so I can just chill. I packed my stuff already. And right now we're gonna move our stuff to the next uh, place where we, where we will be staying for the next two nights. We will have more friends joining us and they're already on the way from Bali. Uh, so there will be four of us and uh, we will drop our stuff at the new accommodation. And then Imani told me that she found out that there is some beautiful waterfall not far away from here. So I think we're going to go and see a waterfall, then just greet our friends, check the new accommodation, maybe go to some varungs to eat. Um, I don't really know what's the plan. Whatever the plan will be, I'll be enjoying it for sure. I just love traveling to new places, getting to know new cultures. And that's exactly what we're gonna do today. So stay tuned. And I'm just so happy. I think I had a breaking moment yesterday. Sorry, I need to share a little bit with you. You can hear I'm not a native speaker, right? And I don't have any problem to communicate in English, but I kind of felt uncomfortable when I was in front of the camera. It's really weird. I think I just had to get used to it. I can film in Polish and I feel very natural, but then every time I was just starting to speak in English, I felt like an idiot. So I think yesterday was my breaking moment because I was even filming myself on the ferry and I was surrounded by a lot of people. So I, I kind of feel that I sound super weird when I speak English, but just on the camera. So I don't know, it's something in my head. So I think yesterday was the first vlog that I filmed and I felt comfortable and I felt natural and I felt like it was just me. And it was probably, and today also is the first other breaking moment. Today is the first moment where I talk about myself and I have something to tell you. It's something, it sounds funny, but when I have a scenario 
when I have notes, it's really easy for me to talk, to speak in English, because uh, I have a plan. But talking to you openly without a plan, like today is the first day that is actually working out. So I'm really excited and I hope starting from yesterday and starting from today as well, my vlogs are only gonna get better. That's the plan at least. So thank you for bearing with me. I'm gonna pack my stuff and let's go for adventures. All right, we are ready to check out. But before that, I wanna show you something amazing. I just discovered the most beautiful view ever. Come on. Hi, buddy. <laughs> Are you ready? Shall we go and say goodbye? Yeah. The owner of this place is just so nice. Just want to say bye. Back. Yes. Thank you so much for having us. Yes. Oh. Terima kasih. How do you say thank you in Isara? Matur nun. Nun. Nuun. 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 Matur Nuun. Matur Nuun. Matur Nuun. 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 Because in Bali it's Matur Suksuma. Yes. Matur Nuun. Can you just say Nuun? Yes. Ah, oh, okay. Nuun. Nuun. Oh, okay. And then reply Sama Sama yes. uh, in oh. local language? Yes, in local language. It's Sama Sama. Because in oh, okay. Balinese it's Mawali. Mawali, correct. Uh, oh, you also oh, say Mawali? Mawali? No. Balinese. Mawali. Balinese. Okay. Oh, okay. But here, Sama Sama. Matur oh, okay. Nuun. Okay, it's almost like noon, but double U. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Noon. Noon. Sampai jumpa lagi. We learned a new word. Uh, matur nuun. I'm saying it all wrong. It's not matur nuun, but matur nuun. Sorry for a mistake, but it's a new language. In East Javanese, that means thank you. So I'm glad that I'm learning every single day. Okay, Imani is already sitting on a bike, so I better hurry up. Oh, time to discover the island a little bit more. Babe, are you ready to discover the island? Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Oh my God, the, the seat is gonna be hot. Yeah, it's pretty hot. Mm -hmm. mm, burning my butt. <laughs> it's still better than freezing my butt, so I can't complain, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> We've just arrived to the place where we'll be staying for two more nights and it's looking pretty good. We just left our stuff because it's too early for us to check in and uh, I think we're 20 minutes away from the waterfall. The ride was quite interesting, so many holes on the way. It was absolutely beautiful with rice fields but some of the roads were interesting. So <laughs> I don't think it's the best idea to speed up on those roads. Well, I don't generally speed up anyways, but yeah, it was tricky. It was, it was very bumpy. <laughs> We made it! It's gonna be the first waterfall in Java. The name of the waterfall is Air. Air means water. And that's how, if you see Air somewhere in the jungle, it usually means waterfall. So it's Air Terjun. I think I was still sleepy when I was filming this. Air Terjun means waterfall. And then Air itself means water. So sorry, I got it all wrong, but waterfall in Indonesian is Air Terjun. Terjun? No. Jagir. This is the first time that, this is the first time in Java we paid for something other than like a dinner, right? I think so. Yeah, so parking was 1,000. That's nothing. And then the entrance to the waterfall is 5,000, which is so much cheaper than uh, in Bali. I mean, I don't mind. In Bali, you usually pay around 40,000, Imani? For Roughly for a waterfall. waterfall? Uh, that's 20, I think, yeah. 20, 40. Uh, I usually, depending, on, depending on a waterfall, yeah. So here we paid only five. So great price and fun drive. The roads can be a little bit tricky and it's more hilly than Changu, the place where I live. But it was beautiful, so many rice fields, it was gorgeous. Okay, I think I'm gonna pause for now and I'll just show you how beautiful this place is so you can see it yourself. Forget all about that tonight Just remember the flame You remember the flame 
I think I will be sharing a lot of first impressions about different things in Java in this episode. Uh, so the first waterfall in Java is just beautiful. It's spectacular. Although I'm bleeding, <laughs> I'm quite a clumsy person. So when Imani and I, we were in the water, I just slipped down. Pretty lucky. I dropped my phone to the water. That's not lucky, but my phone is fine. But pretty lucky because the way I fell, it was, I just stayed in one spot. So I didn't slide down. So I'm bleeding a little bit from one of my hands and a little bit from one knee, but it's not too big, it's not too dramatic. So just watch out, be careful, it's slippery. Other than that, it's just amazing to be in the place that, well, now it got a little bit busy. It looks like some kids have just finished schools because uh, some of the people are still wearing school uniforms. So it gets slightly, slightly more busy, but with local tourists. So. Uh, it's pretty amazing to not be surrounded by other bullae and nothing wrong about that, obviously, but it's just really refreshing. If this waterfall was in Bali, it would be packed with tourists, packed, absolutely. So I love that. I think we're going to stay here for like more 10 to 15 minutes. I'm starting to get hungry. So we're going to go eat somewhere. And two of my other friends have just arrived here. So it's going to be four of us trying to find some nice place. I just want to find, it doesn't, I, I have no expectations. I just want some good food and nice views. The views that we had on the way here when I was riding, driving a bike, it, they were just spectacular. So I just want to find somewhere with a view overlooking rice fields or something like this. I just want to see Java. It's so pretty that I just want to see it when I eat. That's my only request. And if I get that, I'm gonna be super happy, although I'm already super happy, so. <laughs> Imani have found the most beautiful restaurants. I'm actually surprised how gorgeous this restaurant is. So we are just checking the menu and this is the view that we have. Look how amazing. And the restaurant itself is also very, very pretty. I'm sorry. Pretty fancy, I wasn't expecting it. Not bad, right? Oh, we have a Garuda. And these are my friends. <laughs> it does look good. So hungry. We were hoping that was ours. Yes, our food is coming. <laughs> my beautiful dish is called Tahu Telor. So it's tofu with egg and a lot of other stuff inside. What's inside? What's inside? A lot of tahu. Love tofu. My food is so good. Oh my god, I'm super happy. And I'm waiting for a second dish because I was just so hungry that one option was not an option. <laughs> oh, and we were even thinking about getting a pizza on top of everything. I don't know if that's still gonna happen, but <laughs> let's see. We should. And maybe pasta. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is officially my first grocery store in Java. But unfortunately, they didn't have what we wanted. We were looking for alcohol, we wanted to buy a few beers, and honestly, it felt like a mission impossible. Almost impossible, because at the end, we found some beers. That was a long trip. <laughs> that was a long trip. We were driving for so long because we wanted to buy some stuff for the hike tomorrow. And we also wanted to get a few beers. And it's not easy to buy beers in Java. It's Muslim. It's possible, but it's more, much more difficult. Oh, I can see Ijen from here. I can see the volcano we're going to be hiking up tomorrow. <gasps> oh, it's beautiful. I'll have to show it to the girls. So yeah, it took us forever to find somewhere. So we were just uh, driving around, but honestly it was quite nice because like we get to see a little bit more of Java and it's just stunning, it's beautiful. It's really, really pretty. The roads uh, can be really good, but can be very bad as well. But I think I told you about that already. Um, I bought a few, I think probably they're 
everyone is like trying to figure out if we can leave our beer somewhere. It's not going to be a late, we're not going to have a late evening today because uh, the plan is to wake up at 2.30 a.m. Uh, because we want to catch the sunrise on the top of the mountain. So I will probably go to bed at 9. It's going to be an early one. So I got myself some nut bar. I got some nuts, almonds, bananas, and I have my own coffee. So I'll have that for breakfast. And I think that's fine. That's enough. I don't need anything else in that. We have a rooster. I don't know if I'm showing you the rooster, but it's pretty cute. Guys, did you see? We, I can see Ejen from here. I just got a welcome drink. It's so good. It's some um, herbal tea with mint, with a lot of sugar, but surprisingly, I don't like sweet things, but this is surprisingly really good. I think it's with lime as well. And that's not a straw. I <laughs> just tried that. It's not a straw. Mm, I needed that. I also need to chill. That was a beautiful day. I'm pretty tired because we were driving a lot and everyone is just so friendly. Thank you, Java, <laughs> for a warm welcoming. I really needed this. Yeah, we have so many places to sit. Cute. This one is so cute. And that one looks, that reminds me of a playground. Kind of like a place you can climb. Sorry, I was just talking to Imani. Yeah, this one, right? How cute is this spot? I think that's where we're gonna sit. I'm just gonna ask my friends, but uh, it's pretty cool. Oh, and we have a basketball field. <laughs> with a private palm tree. Well, maybe it's not a private one, but it's a cute basketball field. <laughs> and this house over there, the first one, this is mine. We have a small bar slash restaurant here. So that's pretty cool as well. If we want to get a drink or have a coffee, <gasps> they have a coffee machine. Oh my gosh, that's exciting. Okay, that's cool. Obviously, I couldn't film that much when I was driving on a scooter. So how about if I just take you to the street? Uh, we live on a very, very small one and it's pretty quiet. And so far, I've seen that the houses here are usually really tiny. You can tell how small they are. Really cute. And a lot of them come in colors. So it's pretty colorful when we were driving today. Uh, it's not really typical for Bali. Like you can even tell, you can see here. It's light blue and then there is a small taco, small store and it's green. And then we have a tiny convenience store, I guess. You can buy some Indomie, you can buy some water. And it's the end of the, I wanted to say town, but it's not a town, it's not a village, but you can see that it's super green everywhere. Hello! <laughs> very peaceful, very quiet. I'm loving it. I haven't taken this road because we were actually coming from that side. And if you drive two more minutes, oh my God, the road was amazing. I'm not going to go there today because I'm too tired, but I want to come back tomorrow. I want to go there tomorrow and take some pictures. It's so beautiful here. Time to enter the tree house. I hope there's a space to sit there. Small swing. Hati <laughs> hati, okay. Okay, that's cute. Okay, we have some cushions. Oh, okay. We have some barge, high chairs, tall chairs. How do you call them? Tall chairs, right? Bar chairs, bar, bar stools, chairs. Okay. High chairs. High chairs. We just got masks for tomorrow. Oh my gosh. <laughs> no, I actually feel that we're gonna hike up a volcano. And we got a headlights as well, right? Oh, so okay, right? oh, okay, okay, just a normal torch, yeah. Let's put it on. Hello. Is it comfortable, guys? Oh, yeah. Do you want to shoot? Hi. Hey. Yeah, you did. That was such a great day. I don't think I could imagine a better 
birthday celebration, to be honest. And it was just so chill and oh, great vibes. The end of the day was just us, <laughs> four friends just chill together and play a game. So we were playing iConnect. It's a really, really cool game. The whole goal of the game is just to connect with each other. So um, you have to answer questions that are pretty deep. They can go pretty deep there. And um, uh, we ended up changing rules a little bit. So sometimes it was just one person answering the question, but sometimes we were just curious and we wanted to hear every single person to answer the same question. So we were just discussing a few topics and we were discussing some stuff that were not always the easiest ones, but um, definitely worth discussing. So gorgeous beautiful evening and another thing that i'm going to be thankful for is hopefully going to be something that i'm going to feel tomorrow when i wake up at 1 45 because that's my goal i told you that we are gonna wake up at 2 30 but 2 30 is the time that we're going to be leaving this place so i, I just want to wake up at 1 45 maybe 1 50 have my coffee just chill for a little bit longer and uh Hopefully I'll get enough sleep. It's 10 p.m. So yeah, it's not gonna be that much sleep. Okay, it's time to say goodbye. See you tomorrow, but actually see you in a few hours because it's not gonna be a long night, but it's definitely gonna be a long day tomorrow. And let's discover a new volcano. Just can't wait. Have a good night, guys. See you in the next episode. Bye.